Good morning, guys. Um, um, today is, <clears throat> excuse my voice, I'm just getting sick. I'm trying to take care of that ASAP. I think it's just allergies. <clears throat> but, um, I'm trying to take care of it now before it just gets out of hand. Um, I'm going to take you guys with me today on um, some light duty work. So, I don't think I've told you guys, but I work at a hospital and I work in the OR unit. <laughs> but since I've been pregnant, I haven't been able to do any work for real, for real. So, they have me on light duty. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to take you guys with me today just to see what a day looks like for me on light duty so yeah let me get up and get ready baby don't pull my way up jesus christ i'm wearing short boots <laughs> come on so that's a no, baby. Beat my pants down and you pull the pitch. Start over it. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, just a little bit. Oh, Lord. Pull that sock down, please. <laughs> Look, I did this one. That's the same. I'm crying. Okay, let's see if it fits. Let me see if it works. There's a little wait. Oh, wait. <sighs> and I think I'm pink socks gonna have to go down. Okay, baby, once the shoe go up. <laughs> Wee. You have to try to wiggle your feet. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. No. Oh Lord, but they gotta go down. Under inside, that's pink. I gotta I don't inside, inside, baby. Uh. Okay guys. <clears throat> um, I ain't spreading on mama shirt. <laughs> My mama got me this little certain situation. I got a long sleeve white. <clears throat> no, I long sleeve, I have a short sleeve. <clears throat> Um, maternity shirt under it because if I get hot, I'm gonna have to bust up my body. Okay, I'm gonna have to come up out of that. I'm gonna have to take it off. <clears throat> so, um, I'm doing my hair. Well, I'm brushing my hair, baby. I don't do my hair often. Listen, I can do hair. I can braid it, and my plan has been. <clears throat> To do me some box braids um <laughs> for a minute now but um by the time I clean up and the house is you know the house is clean <sighs> oh do my hair shitting. Probably because I don't comb it. But by the time I clean up, <clears throat> everything on weekends, um, I really don't be having time to to um do my hair or feel like I don't have the energy to braid my hair. Y'all look how much hair came out. Y'all can't see it. But that's not a lot considering I don't comb my hair. Like, <laughs> I don't comb my hair. I don't go anywhere to comb my hair. If I go anywhere, I like brush it up. <clears throat> I don't put a lot of jam in my hair. I don't do anything. Hey, I don't. Okay. Um, I used to. <clears throat> Marie, I used to have to have my hair looking like somebody. 
I still do need to have it looking like somebody. I'm trying to get better. Especially before my daughter comes. Because see, with my mom, <clears throat> my mom used to, you know, as a little girl, you know, you keep yourself up. You make yourself look decent, presentable. Not for nobody else, but for yourself. Because that's how you carry yourself. But, so I know how to carry myself. <clears throat> um, I just choose now to kind of, I don't know, just do my, do my thing. So I just want to make sure that I do teach my daughter. <clears throat> and do be um, a model for her so she'll know. Because you know how you raise is how you think. So she'll know to keep herself up. <clears throat> okay, now. What, what am I? I was only doing that one hour. Okay. Now I'm giving myself a little top knot. A little top knot. You see that? Okay. <clears throat> and I'm going to show y'all this lipstick. So someone asked about the lipstick, the vlog where I went to the um <clears throat> the baby shower okay yeah it was a vlog where i went to the baby shower i know y'all probably like girl why you got all this makeup you don't even put on makeup i really don't honestly i don't yes baby what are you doing? mind my business early in the morning maybe i'm i'm doing my youtube video so, y'all, um, oh, let me put this right here. Yeah, but I really don't. I tried to experiment. I do put lip colors on my lips. I do put, um, fix my eyebrows, and, and I do put on eyeliner. I don't know how to do lashes. I don't know how to do any type of makeup, none of that. <clears throat> but I do have a little bit of a couple of eyelashes and a couple of, um, makeups. Like foundation makeup, just to like experiment, but I really don't know what I'm doing. So when I go out for real, I don't wear them because I'm gonna look like a clown, okay? <clears throat> Baby, stop bothering me. Okay, so for all the dark skinned girlies, you already know it's really hard to find a good red lip, right? <clears throat> Something that's gonna be vibrant but not look ashy on your lip, like not look weird. So I think I found one for us, y'all. Y'all try it out, okay? Um, so first I line my lip with a brown lip liner. You don't have to. I don't like line it too much, but I do just a little teeny bit. So let me show you. Let me try to get this right, because I gotta get the right. I'm gonna be late. Okay, I should have moisturized my lips first. It is morning time, and this is a matte lip, so <laughs> that may cause some issues later on. But <clears throat> okay, so you put your liner on. You do like this just to kind of like smear it. I don't know if you can kind of see it now. It's not like just a bold line. <clears throat> okay, and then. I have a more, I'm sorry, a Milani brand, and the color is Devotion. It's number 14. It's a old, it's older. I have had this for a while, but it still is lasting. It's nice. I like the <clears throat> formula and everything. And when me and my husband was dating, <clears throat> he bought me um, another Milani called Amore. I know I sound like a man, but listen. <laughs> So the devotion one is darker, so that's the one you put on the outside. And you know you want a like bright bomb, like piping hot lip. Put the a more in the middle. You and because it's matte, you have to do it quickly or it'll dry, and you can tell it's gonna have like a line of demarcation. It's gonna look like a black line on that. I mean, a darker color on the outside and a <clears throat> lighter color on the inside. So you have to do it quickly. So I'm gonna go ahead and have them open. I'm gonna go ahead and mix it to, you know, probably don't need to be mixed, but just, just in case, you know, let me see. I just had this about to go fast. As a matter of fact, let me put this up here. All right, 
so we're gonna I'm gonna try to do this like this okay line the edges not a lot on the bottom and then you come in do that little quick number and then throw this on top. Uh, the, this is the lighter red. And then I'm gonna clean it up, make sure it ain't, cause I never had to do this while holding the camera, so. It's a little messed up. But this, so when it dries down, this is what it looks like. And it's like a perfect vampy like type look. Let me see if I can get a little no, no. Turn it the wrong way, girl. Yeah, but it's like a perfect, like, I feel like I need to fix that right there. Girl, by the time lunch hit, I've been ate it anyway, so. <clears throat> so, it's a mat. It's not going to crack. It's not going to do anything. It's not going to budge. The only way for it to come off is if it meets oil. So, whenever you do get home and you want to take it off, use oil. Another thing, I wouldn't suggest, um, you know, like when you have lipstick on and you eat over time, it can wear out. This one doesn't really wear out, but if it does start to wear out here, let it wear out gradually. Because if you try to put more on to build it up, it'll look clumpy and everything else. It's not going to look cute, so let it be, honey. <clears throat> Either fully remove it and apply or let it fly, okay? All right, let me talk to y'all when I get in the car. Okay, guys, I'm in the car, um, and I'm running late for work. But this is the lip in the light. You see, it's like, like a little, I need to fix it right there. But I'm not going to fix it. <clears throat> um, I'm running late for work, so I'm about to hurry up and get to work. And once I clock in and get everything settled, then I'll run downstairs to Starbucks to get me some, um, ginger tea or something oh i look like i ain't got no teeth in my mouth i'm holding my lip <laughs> i gotta hold my teeth girl but no i'm gonna give me some ginger tea because my throat is a little um i won't say sore but i'm definitely not sounding like my normal self so i'm sound like i'm about to get a cold or something i don't know um so on top of my um on top of my what, what am i what did i do prenatal vitamins and all the other vitamins that I take. <clears throat> I'm probably going to add in vitamin C again. I'm supposed to be taking vitamin C already anyway, but I have, <clears throat> I currently take the um, gummy prenatals and the gummy um, vitamin D3. And I don't know, I just can't get jiggy with all that gummy, gummy, sweet, sweet stuff. I should have just got the pill and I just like got the bottle, so like it's not running out no time soon i think if i'm not mistaken it may not run out until um after i have the baby and I, I don't know if i told you guys but after i have the baby i will continue to take prenatal vitamins just a little bit and wean myself off of them <clears throat> why i don't know i just feel like you know abrupt stop after nine ten months or whatever i don't know what if my my hormones and everything is already gonna be skyrocketing and doing everything they big bad enough to do so that's just my choice <clears throat> Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys once I get to work. And yeah, that's it. Okay, guys, I made it to work. I am going in this elevator. I made it to work. Let me go on these stairs. I gotta remember how to get in my area. Okay, so, 
I'm about to get my drink and go to work. I'll talk to y'all in just a second. Let y'all see me at Starbucks to see what I was being fat and ordering. Knowing I need to have um, some hot tea on the store. I was trying to get a, a iced caramel macchiato. And I forgot to tell her iced. So it's hot. Which is probably what I needed anyway. But I'll be back for a green tea. Um, green tea with uh, honey. Not honey. Honey. In a little bit. But I got to eat first. And I want some of this coffee. Okay, guys, so I know I didn't record much. I was going to let y'all know what I ate for lunch and everything today, but I got a little sick. I got sick um, during lunch. I have low iron or something, something to where I just keep fainting. I've been telling my doctors about it, and they just brushed me off. And now I'm being nasty because you're not brushing me off anymore. You know what I'm saying? So, I did have a doctor's appointment yesterday, and I do like this doctor. She actually did something. She investigated to see what's going on, and it looks like it is my iron. And I may have to get, like, iron infusions or something. <clears throat> and so, that was the result yesterday. I was satisfied with what happened yesterday at my doctor's appointment. Everything was fine. Um, and now today, I was just about to... I was in the middle of eating and I was about to record and then all of a sudden I just got like really faint and I was having an episode. I was, you know, I, all my symptoms just was coming again. And so it doesn't happen. I noticed the last two times it happened, it happened while I was eating or um, extremely right after I finished eating. Um, but it also happens if I'm like walking short distance like I literally walked around my complex building to walk with Zoe and it happened if I go walk in the store and I'm not sitting down like in a wheelchair of some sort it'll happen if I take a shower and you know your heart rate gets up that way it'll happen if I walk to the bathroom too many times try to walk to the bathroom um the kitchen and you know just start doing a little bit too much small small things it'll happen so um, yeah, so I just wanted to document and, you know, just because I'm starting to see a similar pattern. I'm just trying to mentally note when it's happening. And so I, um, messaged my doctor or I messaged my, we have like a little my chart portal. And so like different nurses and stuff come on and they kind of talk to, um, a doctor about it or whatever. And this lady talked to a doctor and the doctor was like, oh, maybe you should go to the cardiologist again. Now, mind you, I've been to the cardiologist. The cardiologist said my heart is perfectly fine. I don't have any arrhythmias. I wore a patch for about two weeks. And they did see where my heart palpitations did increase. So they know that something is happening during that time. But the rhythm of my heart and the health of my heart is not the issue. He also noticed that my blood pressure was low. But if you have low iron and you're in that faint spell, those things will happen. And I mean, I am a healthcare professional, but I'm not an MD, I'm not an RN. So I know that if these things make sense to me, they should be making sense to you guys. But because they don't care and they're thinking that, oh, I can just brush you off. Let me just brush you off to the cardiologist um, and get somebody else to deal with you. Then, you know, you'll just, they just gonna keep bouncing me. Eh, wrong. You're not gonna bounce me. Um, and so I just had to let them know, no. I don't wanna hear nothing, no other suggestions from nobody else unless they're willing to do their job because the only person that's doing their job is the doctor that i seen yesterday and she just did blood work for me yesterday and my levels as far as like my, my iron and hemoglobin and stuff it's low so i don't want to hear nothing from nobody else and if you guys put in my chart put put in my chart that if you guys cannot 
handle me with care, the same care you had handle your family member without just pushing me off and not listen to my concerns. Don't even come and don't tend to me or find you another job. And I mean that from the bottom of my soul, okay? I want you guys to know, especially a lot of, um, a lot of the, um, People of color, we do, black women specifically, we do have a high mortality rate and we do die in these situations, but it's not just um, black women, minorities in general, and sometimes even white women, they have um, situations where they express their concerns to medical professionals and they do not take them serious or they brush them off as it's just, it's just normal. And I'm 28, 29 weeks this Thursday. And I keep getting brushed off as this is normal. This is normal. It is not normal to have fainting spells multiple times a day. If you fit, you know your body best. I've never been pregnant before, but I know that that is not normal for me to be doing small, small things, the slightest things like eating and for me to get faint during those times. Something is going on, something needs to be investigated. And if you don't feel the need to have it in your heart to take care of me properly, then don't even come over here with that, okay? I want you guys to advocate for yourself, whether you're pregnant, not pregnant, or anything. Just because somebody has an MD behind their name does not mean that they're genuine, does not mean that they're passionate about their job, does not mean that they're going to properly take care of you. Advocate for yourself or have someone advocate for you. Don't listen to anything that a doctor just says blindly just because they went to school for something. Because everybody's heart is not in the same place and everybody in the medical field, a lot of times people get numb to things. And so they'll just brush brush it off, brush it off until something tragic happens. You cannot play with people's lives or um, things like that. You can't, you can't. If that's what you plan on doing, you need to get you a desk job where you just put in numbers and plug in stuff on the computer so that if you don't try, if you're not taking your job serious that day, then a life isn't lost. You Maybe, you, you know, you, you work behind on your work, but a life isn't lost when you do stuff like that. Maybe you need to switch careers. So, that's my rant for today about that. Um, yeah, so I had a little situation at work, um, but I'm feeling a little bit better now. Um, yeah, I was nasty to the people, but that's okay, because sometimes you have to get nasty. You have to advocate for yourself respectfully and professionally, but still advocate for yourself. Don't let people just spit in your face and tell you it's raining. No, baby, you spit in my face, and that's not happening. I don't like that, so, you know. Boom, boom, boom. That's a figure of speech for people who don't know. Nobody really spit in my face because I, I I haven't got that in my heart yet. Not to, um, <laughs> but yeah. So, um, I'm about to get ready to leave work. I'm just going to work for maybe about five or 10 more minutes because it's almost time for me to leave. About time I wobble downstairs and clock out and everything and get in my car. It'll be time. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going home and I'll be back with y'all when I get in the car. Okay. All right. Bye. Okay. So I'm leaving work now. I clocked out three minutes early because I needed to go to the bathroom. I should have went to the bathroom on the level that I was at with work. But I didn't. And I came downstairs in the bathroom that security was trying to show me. Um, <clears throat> that bathroom, um, the toilet was down there by my toes, honey. And I would need to call somebody to help me get up if I use that bathroom. So, I didn't. But I'm about to get in the car now because I got to tinkle. I have to go ASAP. Mm -hmm. Guys, I made it home. Um, when I got home, I just ate some my burrito that I was supposed to eat earlier before I got sick. So I ate that and now I'm just sitting here at home, probably about to turn on a movie and um watch some videos to keep me calm because I'm scared that uh, I'm scared about labor 
and delivery of my baby. Yes, I'm excited for her, but I'm just scared to deliver. So I have been trying to train my mind, my body, and my soul to see, um, you know, just to see some tips and techniques that can keep me calm during the process. Um, and that's about it. That's all I'm about to do. My, I think my mom may come up here and get me. And we may go to um, Hobby Lobby. Um, if we do do that, then I will return to vlog that because my mom has a bad problem, honey. She loves to stay in the stores. But if I don't return, this is the end of the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed my day um, of work on light duty. Um, if you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, cuddle. Kush cuddle. Um, subscribe, like, share, comment and um i'll do more little small videos like this and hope it, hopefully this video isn't too long either because i know sometimes lengthy videos is hard to watch all right guys well see you later bye